We need to bring manufacturing back to the states. We've seen that in the last couple of years with COVID, with all the supply chain issues. Nebraska, I feel, is uniquely positioned where we absolutely have to do something different than we're doing today. And one of the things I think we need to do is automation. And automation just isn't robots, it's software, it's processes, it's the whole mindset. I can't pay a lot of to someone who's just gonna stand there and do this all day. Someone that's gotta sit there and think through a process and measure some parts and troubleshoot things when there's problems, you can justify paying that person a lot more money. And so that's what we try to focus on is that type of job where the people here in small rural Nebraska are getting paid the same as they would get paid in Lincoln and Omaha. The big thing with robotics and automation is how can we amplify a person can do. So if a person can manage 10 machines or are working by themselves, but a person is just monitoring for problems, then you free up time so that he can do other more quality things. One of the most significant challenges we have in the state of Nebraska is we have a 2% or less unemployment. And so we have tens of thousands of jobs that are open right now. When we started to hear from industry and talking about the need for manufacturing pipelines, it was so obvious that we needed to be bringing these two pieces together, manufacturing and agriculture. The argument that automation leads to less jobs, we've not felt that here in Nebraska. What happened was, is there were less jobs, maybe that were on the farm, but the jobs increased in the areas of supporting agriculture. So we need someone who understands agriculture, but they should also be able to code. They should also be able to fix electronics. Nebraska is special because we are right in the center of ag. This is the central location for manufacturing, for growing, for production. We are a father-son robot company that builds grain bin safety and management robots right here in Aurora, Nebraska. One of the biggest challenges in developing new technology is the time that it takes. And when someone dies in a grain bin every two weeks, we don't have that much time. So we need the right tools and resources to help us accelerate this development time the robotics cluster resources, the experts that are going to be a part of this, the, the collaboration that takes place with all the other ag tech companies and the robot companies and the manufacturing folks. We need all of that for our company to be successful. And so that's why we're, we're super excited about the opportunity. With this funding, we are going to be able to create a fabrication lab or what we love to call a fab lab. It is a place where we're going to have opportunities for people to take workshops. We have to have places where people can go and work on robots and build robots and, and break robots and rebuild robots. You know, those opportunities help us build those workforce skills. We're not just building a lab in Lincoln or one in Norfolk. We're building a process that can be replicated all across the state and have a true rural impact. What we know is that as manufacturing organizations look at transforming their floor and using automation differently, that they need places where they can work to upskill their employees to use the technology that they're transferring to, to become more efficient. The supply chains are broke. When you gotta get something out the door, then that takes priority, and then the person that's getting trained doesn't get that training that they need at the speed that we need to have it done. And that's always a challenge, especially in a rural area to find those resources that we can send people to to learn about new things. It also raises the, the entire standard of living for everybody in the United States by bringing more manufacturing back to the United States. And I really don't think that we're gonna have the opportunity to do that without something like this out there. By the year uh, 2050, we will have close to 10 billion people on planet Earth. So we need to figure out a way produce more food uh, from the same amount of land. As a part of our teaching and education mission, we, we train students, but if they don't have opportunities here, they are going to move out of the state elsewhere. We don't have enough people who understand agriculture and also technology. A cluster like the HRC will bring students from diverse backgrounds to train in the ag tech space. This is a catalyst that we need, and we need more of these catalysts to create next generation workforce. What we can build here can go anywhere, and, and we can actually make an impact on grain quality, on lives, on, on the world of agriculture with the innovations that are just taking place right here in rural Nebraska. Nebraska farmers feed the world, but innovation that takes place here in Nebraska 
also is innovation that impacts the entire world.